Hey everyone, welcome back to the Typing Mind channel. Today I'm going to share some handy tips on how to save on token costs when using ChatGPT and other large language models on Typing Mind. If the costs of all those AI conversations have been giving your wallet a workout, stick around because these tips will help keep more cash in your pocket and your conversations flowing smoothly. Before we dive in, let's quickly go over how the cost for using LLM APIs is calculated. The cost is based on the number of tokens used for each prompt and response. When you type a prompt into an LLM API or the AI responds to your question, it breaks the text down into tokens, sums them up, and then multiplies the total number of tokens by the price per token. To give you an idea, 1,000 tokens are roughly equivalent to 750 words. Each AI provider has different pricing per token. For example, GPT-40 charges 0.5 per 1K input tokens and 1.5 per 1K output tokens. On the other hand, Gemini 1.5 Flash is only 0.035 per 1k input tokens and 0.0105 per 1k output tokens, which is 14 times cheaper than GPT-40. We've got a tool to help you estimate these costs when using LLMs via API. I'll drop the link in the description, so be sure to check it out if you need it. All right, let's get started. Tip 1. Limit the context provided to the AI model. Did you know that when you're chatting with the AI, it remembers everything you've said in your conversation. Every new message comes with the cost of all those previous ones. If you don't need the AI to remember everything, just set a limit on the number of messages it should recall. For example, imagine you're planning a travel itinerary with the travel guide agent. Once you're done figuring out your flights and hotels, you probably don't need it to keep remembering those details while you're asking about local restaurants or attractions. Set a context limit so it only remembers the most recent points. This keeps your token usage in check and ensures the conversation doesn't get weighed down by irrelevant details from earlier. Tip two, switch to a cheaper model mid-conversation. Here's a pro tip for you. For complex tasks like coding or math, you probably need to use the smartest AI models like GPT-40 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. But once you're done with those tough questions, Switch to a more basic and budget-friendly model for easier tasks in the middle of the conversation. Say you use GPT-4 to fix a coding issue, but now you just need help drafting a long email to inform your team about that bug. Swapping to a cheaper model like Gemini 1.5 Flash would save a lot of money on the output tokens. It's like hiring an expert for the hard stuff, then calling in the assistant for the rest. Tip 3. Tell the AI to avoid being verbose in responses. In my opinion, all current AI models tend to be quite verbose by default, and the cost of AI responses is usually way higher than your questions. What a waste of tokens. So the trick here is to master prompt engineering. Create AI agents with specific commands. For instance, in Typing Mind, we have a procoder agent that comes with the prompt. Only return the code, no extra explanation unless the user asks for it. This way, the AI will give you just the concise code you need, without spinning a web of unnecessary words. Tip 4. Limit max tokens. Next up, put a leash on your AI with a max tokens limit. This means you set the maximum number of tokens for each response. Let's say you set it to 297 tokens per response for this conversation. This will prevent the AI from going on and on if it reaches the limit. But if it stops mid-sentence and you need more, just type continue and it'll pick up where it left off. Simple and effective. Tip five, organize important chats into folders, add tags, or star the chats. Do you find yourself often asking the AI the same questions over and over again like it's deja vu? That used to be me all the time. But then I discovered the magic of organizing my chats. For example, I have a Python folder where I put all the important chats related to Python coding. So every time I need a piece of Python code, I just open this folder without having to start a new chat every single time. I also like adding tags to my chats. And for an even simpler solution, I star the chats. Starred conversations stay at the top, always visible, ensuring I don't forget they exist. It's like having a bookmark for your most used pages. Save time, save hassle, and keep your chats neatly organized. And there you have it. By limiting context, switching models, refining prompts, setting max tokens, etc., you can chat smarter with your AI and save some serious tokens. Remember, every token saved is a token earned. If you found these tips helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and share your own tips in the comments. Happy typing, and see you in the next video.